Well, it was election day yesterday in the city of Talladega. Some surprises as uh, Talladega has a new uh, mayor elect, uh, Jerry Cooper Sr. in his first bid for elected office uh, beat uh, incumbent Larry Barton. Uh, Cooper gained 2,000 votes or 61% of the total cast, handily defeating incumbent Larry Barton and veteran campaigner Van Caldwell with no runoff. Barton finished with 1,037 votes. Caldwell gained 197 votes. Now, Cooper is uh, 73 and a widower. He worked for the U.S. Postal Service as a mail carrier for more than 30 years. Barton said his term has been an enjoyable four years. He said, we've had a lot of successes, and I'm honored to have been able to serve four terms, just like Dr. J.L. Harwick, who was one of the best mayors we ever had. Mayor uh, Barton goes on to be quoted as saying, I know that some people were upset about taking the city to court, trying to determine the mayor's authority, or about the incidents in the last couple of weeks involving Barton's alleged beating by former friend Benny Green and alleged sex tape. He said, but it's been a good ride. He said, my family has been right here with me, and my friends and supporters and campaign workers have done uh, their best. He said, I don't have any bitterness. I think Jerry can do a good job. Cooper will be sworn in as mayor, along with the new city council and board of education members on uh, November 2nd. Now, footnote to this story, uh, not counting the provisional ballots, which will, will be opened uh, sometime next week, there were a total of 3,261 votes cast in Talladega's 2015 municipal elections. Now, 30 undervotes in the mayor's race. That means that voters marked a candidate for city council or board of education, but failed to indicate a choice for mayor. Wow. Challenger Chuck Roberts yesterday beat incumbent uh, Elizabeth Smith for the Talladega City Board of Education Ward Number no. 4 seat. Roberts received 394 votes, or 393 votes, while Smith was close second with 322 votes. One incumbent was unseated and another was elected to a second term yesterday in Talladega's Ward 2 City Council. Uh, voters cast 299 votes for Councilman Jarvis Elston, uh, giving him the edge over challenger Kenneth K.D. Dickerson, who earned 203 votes in the Talladega City Council race. Ward 2 uh, for the Talladega City School Board went to Mary McGee, who edged out incumbent Juanita McClellan by a mere 12 votes. 243 to 241 votes. And incumbent Dr. Horace Patterson yesterday won re-election to the Talladega City Council Award 1 seat. The new term will be his sixth. Patterson is the Director of Senior Services for Alabama Institute for Deaf and Blind and pastor of Mount Canaan Baptist Church. In Award 5, the incumbent uh, councilman lost while the incumbent uh, school board member won in yesterday's election. Councilman Joe Ballow lost to Gerald Cooper. Uh, Cooper had 340 votes, or 56.6% of the vote, to Ballow's 261 votes, or 43.4%. School board member James Braswell won his seat against Wanda Duncan Seals. Braswell, 420 votes, and scales with uh, 177 votes. And uh, City Council and City Board of Education seats in Talladega Ward 3 will be uh, in a runoff October the 6th. The school board seat had been held by Bonnie Miller, who decided not to seek re-election. The largest share of the votes went to Jake Montgomery with 290, and Katrina Thomas came in second with 168, Martha Livingston with 163. So there'd be a runoff there. And City Council race pitted... Uh, uh, incumbent Donnie Miller against challengers David Street and Tom Lutchendorf. Uh, Tante Draper also qualified for the position, but later withdrew, withdrew his name after the ballots had been printed. Draper received 19 votes. Uh, Miller had the most votes with 293, but not enough to avoid a runoff with Street. Street had 173 votes, while Lutchendorf got 137 votes. Oh, yeah, my favorite Bluebell ice cream, Dutch chocolate. As promised, Bluebell Creameries yesterday announced the second flavor slated to return to the shelves on August 31st. One day after letting its fans know homemade vanilla will be available next Monday, the company said Dutch chocolate will be there as well. Bluebell has continued to use social media strategy of making announcements of new developments as the company inches back from months-long production shutdown following a listeria outbreak. 
Uh, the company Silicaga Plant is currently the only Bluebell plant operating as plants in Texas and Oklahoma continue cleaning and training programs. They have been closed since production shut down in April. Silicaga resumed production in July after consultation and agreement with state health officials. The first of five phases for Bluebell's return includes the Birmingham Montgomery areas as well as Brenham, Texas, along with Houston and Austin. So uh, Dutch chocolate, the second flavor added after uh, homemade vanilla yes, was added yesterday or on Monday. And finally, a Silicaga man is being held on a $100,000 bond after being arrested for manufacturing a controlled substance. Danny Lee Miley, age 32 of Long Pond Circle in Silicaga, has been charged with one count of unlawful manufacture of a controlled substance in the first degree and felony possession of drug paraphernalia. That according to Jason Murray, Talladega County Drug and Violent Crime Task Force Commander. Agents discovered a meth lab in a block storage building behind Miley's residence. Uh, Murray said Miley was charged with manufacture in the first degree because the lab was 500 feet from another residence and because there was a finished product present. Manufacture of a controlled substance in the first degree is a class A felony in Alabama, punishable upon conviction by 10 to 99 years or life in prison. Felony paraphernalia is a class C felony, punishable by one year and one day to 10 years in prison. That's a look at local news.